What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. It's Thursday. We've got a live stream coming up later. We will be opening some packs, but for now, we are going to be doing the player of the week review. So this is the worldwide review um, of the players worldwide pack. And yeah, look, man, there's some interesting cards in here, especially if you're a newcomer. Um, but there are a couple of players that I would definitely be intrigued to get here, right? I'm not worried about Salah, lads. I can't play with Salah, but we will review him and we will take a look at some of the players in here that could be quite decent. I think Delict and Diaby, they are potential game changers, man. We'll leave them to last. This guy is so, so good and especially on A form this week. He's an absolute demon on the wings, man. So he does get a nice boost to his SS play style as well as a whole player. And I'm going to get into that in a second, right? But we're going to start... I'm going to keep this short and sweet, lads, because unless you genuinely have downloaded the game in the last week, you will be able to get players better than this on the GP market if you have, like, 100,000, 200,000. Like, there's no player here that really st stands out for me, um, apart from, like, the top four guys here, right? Even somebody like Depay, like, he's not... He's on A form, but his standard version is very, very good as well, um, and similarly compares to this guy, right? So we're going to start with kind of worst to best, uh, we'll start with this guy, your traditional kind of AMF that they release every week. He does have some fairly decent player skills. Obviously, one touch pass, true pass, and way to pass, pinpoint crossing. He also has early crosser, so you can play him on the wing. Even though he doesn't be able to play on the wing register position, he is still able to cross the ball. So you can manually play him on the wing and manually get out a little bit uh, onto the wing when you're controlling him and swing those balls in, right? Biggest issue with this card, speed, lack of aggression. Obviously, you don't need that much aggression if you have a really solid defensive team. But this guy's lack of aggression, I think, is going to be a little... Or not lack of aggression, lads. What am I talking about? I'm talking about physical contact. That's my biggest thing here. I'm talking about aggression, but he has 70 aggression. I mixed up the words. His physical contact, when he gets into those areas, right, he does have fairly okay balance. But that lack of speed and acceleration make me think that this guy is not going to be good enough in that AMF role. Especially when you can get AMFs for like 50,000 and they're beasts. We've also got Fincino up here as well. And this guy is pretty decent. I would say as a DMF, he is in a box-to-box -box position. So he doesn't have blocker, but he has one-touch pass. He has interception. Um, passing skills are not too bad. 81, low pass. I would probably skip on him if I got him. I don't think I, I, I'd probably get him in my squad. If you are a newcomer, I would definitely recommend checking out my DMF top players for all budgets video because there are players better than him in there by a mile, right? We've also got Mancini here. Uh, Mancini, Mancini. This guy has got blocker, interception, area superiority. He only has standard form, but he's on A rating this week, so that won't make a difference. What I like about this guy is he's tall. He's not that slow. 72 speed, 71 acceleration. It's quite decent, I would say, for a center back, especially that's able to have a bit of tight possession with 71. I've seen a few people complain um, about not being able to control the ball in V2.4. And obviously, look, they have made changes to that, I think, deliberately to make it more kind of like interception friendly. But I think if you have a center back, a lot of people have just trained up center backs, including myself, because the gameplay didn't really punish lack of control, lack of tight possession before. Um, and now they are. So I think a lot of people have trained up defenders, you know, completely neglected dribbling and tight possession and just really pumped in every stat into defense and into speed and acceleration. I think that's coming back to haunt a few people now, including myself, with a couple of the legends that I trained up because V2.4 has changed a lot. We'll get into that again. Tackling, aggression, pretty decent. He's not a bad player, but again, there's a lot of players on the bench. Jose Sa, I mean, I'm not going to worry too much about this guy. If I do get him, I'm not going to be playing him. Uh, long throw, but no low punt. And that is enough for me not to play him. Um, you know, long throw is obviously key. But again, that parrying at 78 goalkeeper reflexes, you can get a goalkeeper for about, you know, 60,000 GP. That's going to be better than him. We've also got the pie and Daniela, Daniela Pereira. Obviously, PSG going out, we'll cover that in the live stream later, uh, what it might mean for their team going forward. He's down as a center back. Obviously, his register position before his standard version is a DMF. I like this guy. His lack of acceleration is a small bit of a worry, but his player skills more to make up for it. One touch pass, interception blocker, really nice low pass and ball control for a CB. This is what I'm talking about. This is where they're pushing the gameplay now. Defensive awareness, tackling, aggression's a little low. But a fairly standard card and a fairly decent card. We also have Memphis. So this guy, again, for me, I just haven't really been able to use him that much. He's unwavering form. I don't know why he really has that. I know he's playing okay this season. Uh, a couple of injuries here and there. But 
yeah, I mean, he's got double touch, first time shot, chip shot control, long range curler. He's a fairly decent player, but these centre forwards are kind of a dime a dozen. And the game does really reward these players. Um, these kind of low to the ground, versatile centre forwards. But for me, he is a bit of a miss as well. I just think that like there are so many better goal poachers out there than him. And even his standard card, you can train it up quite quite better than that. Now, I know that a lot of people rave about this guy because he is one of the best passers in the game. He kind of reminds me of De Maria. Uh, he's got a wavering form. He's got one touch pass, true pass and track back as well. So he's able to get back defensively. If you are looking for a side midfielder instead of a winger, like an outright winger, this guy could be potentially one of the best defensive sided left mids in the game. He's an excellent player. He's got whole player as well if you want to play him as an AMF. But look at the dribbling, the tight possession, the acceleration, stamina is 85, speed, aggression, defensive engagement. These are really unique stats for a player like this, especially with the unwavering form and the double touch, acrobatic finishing, long range curler, one touch pass, true pass and track back fighting spirit. Yeah, he gets a thumbs up from me. We also have Diaby, my pick of the pack, lads. This guy is an absolute demon on the wings. 90 speed, 93 acceleration, 90 balance, 93 dribbling. Perfect winger, absolute perfect winger. But this card, the one thing I like about this card is when you go back out here, the one thing I really like about this card, lads, oh no, sorry, what am I doing? The one thing I like about this card is the fact that he has got a couple of nice skill moves as well. Now, he does have standard form, but the true passing here is a big, big key move when you're playing with this player that you can play him SS, right? You can play him as pure speed if you want to, but the fact that he has got dipping shot, long range curler, long range shooting and true passing means that you don't need those high passing skills. 78 is more than enough that you can literally just like blister pace, blister in pace, but you also have the passing ability there as well. He's my pick of it. Salah, me and Salah just don't get on, man. It doesn't help that I'm a United fan either. His card, his, sk his skills, his stats, his movement, everything is perfect. But I just can't play with him, man. 90 finishing. This is one of the best versions that they've released. 87 speed, 86 uh, acceleration, 90 speed, 90, uh, 90 finishing. Excellent defensive awareness, dribbling, ball control. Tight possession's a little low. But you know what you're getting with Salah, man. Some love him, some hate him. And some can use him brilliantly in the game. I'm not one of those. I just can't use him. It's the same as Son. And last but not least, we have Delict victorious after beating PSG last night. He is a fantastic player, man. We saw the AI uh, defensive save on the line from Delict. It was like something contextual in eFootball and Dream Team. When you're looking for a goal in the last second, you're playing against a guy that doesn't know how to defend and the game just defends for him. Excellent stats, man. This is probably one of the most complete V2.4 center halves they've released yet. Look at the actual skills he has and the stats, right? 73 acceleration, 74 pace, beautiful. Physical contact, 89. Heading, 85, beautiful. Defensive awareness, tackling, aggression, and defensive engagement. No stat under 86. Amazing, amazing, right? And then we've also got 72 tight possession. Player skills, man marking, one touch pass, area superiority, uh, fighting spirit, heading, and also long range shooting, which is unique to this card. And of course, interception and blocker with unwavering form. I think this guy is going to be an absolute monster in defense. And uh, yeah, that's it for the player of the week, lads. So I'll be back quite soon. They have removed the Fortress players at the moment, but we will be back with those as soon as they add them. And I will talk to you later. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the live stream coming today. Lads.